Hey guys, this is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech for All. In this video, I will show you how to install the Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. Before we proceed to the installation, first of all, we should know the minimum system requirements of Windows Server 2019. Here is the minimum requirements. The processor should be at least 1.4 GHz, 64-bit processor. RAM should be at least 512 MB. Disk space should be at least 32 GB. And the other options are optional, whether you want an optical drive or not. If you want to install the OS from a DVD media, then you need an optical drive. A video graphic, which should be at least 1024 by 768 or higher resolution. Uh, the input devices, uh, which is mouse and keyboard, that's necessary to install the Windows. And an internet access, if you want or not, that's also optional. Let's jump into the installation. I have already created a virtual machine in Hyper-V. I will be using that for this installation. Let's start the installation. This screen is the first window setup screen. Here you have to enter the language, the time and currency format, and the keyboard or input method. I will go with the default version, click the next button. Now click the install now button. Here you have to select the operating system you want to install. There are two editions of the Windows Server. First is Standard and the second is Data Center. The standard contains two types. The first one is Standard Evaluation and it does not contain any graphical environment. But the second, which has desktop experience written in the bracket, it contains the graphical environment. I will go with the second option and then click on the next button. Here is the page of applicable notices and license terms. Click this option, I accept the license. And then click on the next button. Uh, here we have two types of installation. I will go with the second one, which is custom. For the purpose of this installation, I have allocated 80 GB of my hard drive. It is already formatted and unallocated. I will click on the new button to allocate it and then click on apply button. Here it says that to ensure that all Windows features work correctly, Windows needs to create additional partitions for system files. That's OK. Click the OK button. Now click the next button to proceed to the installation. Now Windows needs to restart to continue. It will restart automatically. The Windows is installed. Now I need to type a password for the built-in administrator account. And then I need to sign in. Now click the finish button. Here, because I'm using a virtual machine, it says that whether I want to use a full screen or not. I want to go with the full screen mode.
because I have connected the default adapter of the network, it says that do you want to allow your PC to be discovered by other PCs on this network or not. I will go with the yes option. Here you go. The Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation is installed. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. A sub to the channel would be awesome. Till next video, have a nice day.